Hello everyone, I am Connoisseur, and welcome to my reaction highlights to what appears to be the next Equestria Girls movie. It's called Forgotten Friendship, it's like an hour long special, I don't even know if they put it on TV, I'm guessing they did maybe, um, because they've been having this whole like online series of the, of the Equestria Girls show on YouTube, and this seems to be like an hour long special. I should really watch more of the Equestria Girls, like little like short videos, but I haven't been so into it. I don't necessarily know why. Um, not that I'm not into Equestria Girls, because I've reacted in the, to the other um, to the other movies. Uh, at least I've watched them. Nonetheless, uh, I'm trying out a different format in how I'm editing these reaction highlights. It looks the same to you, but I'm editing them a little differently. I just hope that everything is alright. I know that I'm still not that smooth, like my face is still a little meh but nonetheless let's get right down to it this is forgotten friendship and uh yeah okay so there's a whole intro now okay wow this is probably the intro for the entire like online series maybe i like that N nice quick and uh you know pretty nice nicely animated already starting off with a song okay Oh, okay, so this is basically like a recap of, oh, this is what has happened over the past three movies, and everything is fine now. I've been trying to get your attention for like half the song. Oh, so confirmed they sung that song out loud. Why does that have to look like it's like a barcode from the supermarket? Why can't we actually see the text? That smug Fluttershy face. Oh my gosh. She was so mean. Jesus Christ. No. Stop it. Behold, the magician's exit. <laughs> 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 wow. New character left all alone won't become the villain at all. No. If you've been writing like every night, how have you not run out of book pages? Maybe they've given you a new one because I guess the portal doesn't work. I think so. Oh no, red equals villain, what is it? Oh, oh god, oh, okay, nice, great, great. 4chan, don't watch this, no, 4chan, no, I know what you're thinking, don't, no, no, don't, 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 no, no. Wow, that heart actually manifested from her mouth, how does that make sense? Oh my god, she's fading from existence. The timeline and infinite paradoxes and universes have been erased into one where she does not exist. Gee, I wonder who could have done it! It's not the one character you left behind! And was recently introduced. Wow, now the portal works because they fixed the statue. It's not broken anymore. Anybody can go in, but nobody has. Oh my god! Whoa! Yay! They finally did it after four movies. It just feels like an LP episode right now. It, it just does. Like, whenever I see Pony, it's like, oh my god, it's season eight. This is season eight, guys. It, it's not a joke. This is, this is season eight. Also, that's not how you fly. You don't fly like this. Ooh. Oh, my menacing wings. Oh no. I'm sure Twilight has told Celestia all about Sunset and everything that she's done to improve. Wow, Celestia ain't having any of this. She's not forgiving her motherly at all. Oh my gosh, fandom's crying now. Everybody cry. And the squee. To the restricted section. Oh my god, Twilight's fantasies are being realized. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, why are those books there for anybody to even reach? And that could happen so much more than you think it could. We're definitely not going to visit this restricted section in Season 8. No, not going to happen at all. This is never going to be ever shown again. Oh my god. This is this is the best Twilight fangasm I've ever seen in the history of the series ever. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. And someone is using it to make everyone hate me again. But who? The one character that you left behind, maybe? Or maybe it was 
Twilight sparkle from this world. Because she was jealous. Gee, that's not Snips and Snails, is it? Oh, wow. That was not predictable. Oh my god, it's from the Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild confirmed in, 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 in Equestria. Oh my god, Breath of the Wild. It's, it's the book. I guess I had a good teacher. You were a good student. <laughs> Are you saying I wasn't a good teacher? Whoa! Shots fired! Whoa! Oh, okay, she was joking. Trollestia confirmed! Again! And again! And again! And again! Oh my god, the camera has memories because it's a computer, you can't erase the memories from that. I just, that's that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, I'm calling it. Camera's gonna be the savior of the, of the entire episode, the entire special. I told you, technology has no brain. You cannot erase that memory. Oh no, technology is ruined. Oh, is this gonna be like a freaking Street Fighter battle? This looks like a Street Fighter setting. Never mind. What memory stone? The one you used to erase everyone's memory, you manipulative blowhard. Whoa! I'll have no swearing on this Christian Minecraft server, thank you very much. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> I can't believe the only person who believes me is the one- People are gonna ship this. So Sorry. Aren't they? I've always been good to you, library! That is an amazing animated face. Good job. I haven't seen Derpy yet in this, so... We're still at a very low 3 out of 10. Oh, you can't recall? Why is the eye chart just a bunch of E's in different rotations? And if you don't destroy the memory stone by the time the sun sets today, all those memories will be erased forever. How am I supposed What's better than a time limit? I'm the president of the gardening club. I found it. Wow, that doesn't make sense at all. Not because of your green hair. Green not being associated with plants in nature. And your voice. Wow, she was there the whole time, but definitely not actually in any of the movies whatsoever. It's not like Hasbro tried to strategically place her in the movies to make this actually interesting. No, she's been here the whole time. Trust me, she's actually been in those movies. You could, you can find it. You should go and find her in all three movies, all four movies. Why did they all go around the top of the building when the stone is in the garden? Like, what was the significance of that? You, you, they should have just gone right to the garden. Oh, I get it. She was invisible in the other four movies. That's why you can't find her. She's actually invisible. Well, you weren't there for picture day. That's not your own damn fault. Not at all. And if she seems passionate enough, why doesn't she try harder? I, I, don't, I don't understand, but yeah. Basically jealousy. I can't believe that they actually sung in this movie. For real, they actually sung in real life. Wow, she got out magically somehow. How does this even work? I don't understand, but okay. Never say never! Damn it! Why did you have to bring that song up? Oh look, Flash Sentry's here because he has to be. Some, even for one second. They'll think of each other the way you think of me. Which is not at all! Oh no, sacrificing! Wow! Magic Ex Machina, they're gonna remember everything all of a sudden without the stone being broken because of course... Wow! New designs? Wow! Buy our toys! Yeah, great! Prom night again. Oh, and, and a cape somehow? Oh, yay! They did good. Damn, Pinkie Pie! You just want to see death happen, do you? And destruction. Oh no, broke. Yay! Wait, what? Wait. Where are the red memories of Sunset that are supposed to go to everyone else? She erased it from the whole entire school. What happened to every other memory? Everyone matters, Wallflower. No matter how insignificant or invisible they feel. But you have to make an effort to make yourself visible. Dear 
So, erasing memories ironically makes you invisible because people forgot you existed. Ha, funny. Okay. So, um... I'm not gonna do a review on this, but... Pretty good. I mean, you know? I, I, I like- I mean, look. Jealousy. When have we not seen that trope being used for villain becoming a villain? That being said, I've clearly said in the reaction highlights that if you want to make yourself visible, you have to make an effort to make yourself visible. You also have to go through bad memories of you because it's a part of who you are. Your past does not define you. And therefore, in terms of Wallflower, erasing memories might have actually made her invisible because people forgot anything. So, yeah, don't, don't go messing around with people's memories. Another thing is that, obviously, I think me and everybody loved Sunset going back into Equestria and the whole sweet moment with Celestia and the Twilight fangasming over all the books. I like that. It's nice. You get some more uh, history about Clover the Clever, and, you know, it, it's nice. Um, you know, the ending was a little rushed. Magic X Machina, the whole, you know, Trixie not being able to do her, her magician's escape, but all of a sudden being able to do it somehow makes sense and we're just gonna accept that meh um and as for, again wallflower blush you know hey I, I i was in high school i had a couple of friends but there was a period of time where i had no friends really and i was just sitting at lunch and just relaxing doing whatever yeah i sort of felt invisible i don't think people are gonna remember me so much i wasn't the most popular kid but hey Guess what? I'm proud of my grades, I'm proud of how hard I tried, and Wallflower has her garden, and, you know, even Sunset said that, you know, the photo of the garden should be used in the yearbook. It's not a matter of not being mean, and therefore, you have to be nice. You know, make your own friends. Find other people who are shy. The whole point that we joke about background characters is that, oh, they're in the background, we need, we need, a, we need them in the foreground, that was the whole point of Slice of Life. Well, guess what? You know, Wallflower can make some very nice friends with, with, with other people in the school who I'm sure exist and feel like they are invisible too. And, you know, it's no excuse, honestly. To like, the, like I, I get it. It's jealousy. And um, Wallflower was apparently known at some point, but then forgotten by Sunset and uh, Trixie. It, you know, that, this is basically what I have to say. I, um, yeah. It was, it was actually pretty good. I know I know that a lot of people are saying it's like almost as good as Rainbow Rocks and everything. And in a way, I think it is. It has very meaningful moments and has good uh, good uh, um, tropes and good uh, morals. Uh, I think that Rainbow Rocks is still better because it has much more character development and much more, you know, screen time. But uh, this, this wasn't bad. This surely was not bad. Um, note to Hasbro, do not make your next villain a green-haired villain because one, that's easy to spot. Maybe make it look completely normal. I don't, I don't know. And two, uh, find a new trope. F find something you haven't done already. And uh, that, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you like these reaction highlights. I can't wait to do season eight reaction highlights in my reviews. It's it's closer than, than you think. Anyway, I am the Old Connoisseur. I thank you for your time. And if you would like to see more, then you know what to do. Just subscribe and you'll be up to date. Bye-bye.